Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a rubber band bracelet today. It should look like this. You have them in all different colors and stuff like that. So, alright, let's get to the supplies that you'll be needing. Okay, so the supplies you're going to be needing are some rubber bands, colorful rubber bands, um, a crochet hook. You can get these at any crafting store. Um, I got mine at AC Moore. They're cheap. You also need something to secure the bracelet with. I'm going to be using a jump ring. Looks like that. You could also use a C clip, a S clip, or um, you could secure with a knot. Uh, I haven't seen anybody use these, but I found these. Um, it came with tie-dye rubber bands that I have. And I don't know what they're called, but it kind of looks like an 8. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, there you go. So, yeah. Let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so the first step is, is you want to take your jump ring. Well, this is actually, this step is only if you have a jump ring, if you have a C-clip or a, <coughs> sorry about my voice, or a S-clip, you do that at the end. Then you want to take your first rubber band color, and then you just want to stick it through the jump ring, pinch it at the end so it can go through, and then fold it in half so that it looks just like that and that's really simple and then you want to take your crochet hook and your rubber band of course then you want to stick it through onto the crochet hook so it looks like that then you want to take your next rubber band stick it onto the cr crochet hook that it'll look like that. Please focus better. Okay, there you go. And you want to slide it down. The thing that was on your crochet hook, the rubber band and the jump ring. You want to slide it down, just like that. You want to take the end of your um, white rubber band, which is in my case. You want to use, this is the second color. Then you want to take it, you want to push your crochet hook into the rubber band and slide it on and then you'll get that. I'm going to show you another two times that you just do that on the whole way down to the bracelet. So let me show you again. So you just now you want to do your next color which was your first color that you hooked on. You want to slide it down. onto the rubber band might be sticking up take the end of the rubber band that you hooked onto the crochet hook so I just had to push that down a little then fold it the crochet hook into the rubber band opening then you'll get that then you push, pull it down a little then now one more time then you want to do it throughout the whole bracelet okay so now take your next rubber band. I'm going to do it a little bit faster. Then you want to put it on to the crochet hook. You want to slide it down onto the rubber band. And then take, fold it, push your crochet hook into the opening on your rubber band, and slide it back on. You know, pull down a little bit. And then you want to do this the whole way down for your bracelet until the size that you want. Okay, guys, so once you first did it for the length that you want it, I did mine. You want, well, you could secure it so many ways. Um, you, sec you can secure it with a knot, then put it onto the jump ring. You, sec you can secure it with just the jump ring. Or this is just how it looks with that thing. Um, 
So I'm going to show you each of the ways with the jump ring. So for the first way, which is the knot and then the jump ring, you want to take the, rubber, the last rubber band that you did, pull a little bit like that. Then you want to take the little piece and you want to fold it in to the rubber band so you have that. Then you want to pull. So now you have a knot. And then you want to take your jump ring. You want to fold it into a bracelet. And then you just want to hook it in. Then that's the way that you secure it with a knot. Come on, focus. Okay, so the next way is going to be um, how to secure it with out and not just like that. Okay, so you want to take your bracelet, you want to fold it, and then put one end in, then the other end in, then you have your bracelet. And you can make so many bracelets. They're so easy. And I just love making them. And they're just so colorful also. And you can also make fishtail ones, which look like this. There's actually a difference. You see, this is a regular and then this is a fishtail. So I'm going to, my next video is going to be how to do a fishtail rubber band bracelet. I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe. Um, thanks.